Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, we have a really fun episode. Today we're gonna be unboxing some books that I got from a friend of mine, Comic Problem E. Links are down below for her IG. Uh, I go live with her uh, like four nights a week or so. So yeah, hey, check me out too. My links are down there. Uh, but yeah, I picked up some books um, from her over, <laughs> It's been a while. I claimed some of these books a while ago and we just kind of kept building a stack. We ended up actually just trading where both of us just kind of ate shipping and I, I shipped her some stuff and she shipped me some stuff. So this is what I got. I'm super excited to get into this. I know it's a bunch of 2099 goodness. Um, so let's go ahead and get dived into it quick. But before we do, I want to let you guys know quickly about the 600 subscriber giveaway. When we hit 600 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. It's a Marvel number one variant. All you have to do is like the video, comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel, and that'll give you a chance to win. Let's see how I want to tackle this. I'm thinking if I can just get a little part started, I can see and make sure where I can feel kind of, you know what I'm saying, there's no, there's no comics right, right there. Then I can just rip. Yep. <laughs> that plan worked. So we are ripping her open to uh, reveal a Gemini style box inside here. Probably, I've gotten comics from Jen before, so it's probably one of her homemade Geminis that fits in these flat rate envelopes. Kind of like what I do. Just find, you find a good way. All right. You know what I'm saying? Um, to get them, cause they're just a little too big to fit in those. So if you can find a good way, you can, you can still safely send the books. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And get, uh, just let me get, let me get started here and we can start showing what I got. It's a stack. I'll show. I'll pick it. There's a stack. We just gotta get the tape peeled away from the from the books here. Four quadrant tape, like like a pro ships. <laughs> this is what I always do too. Put it put it on each side. That way there can be no slippage. You won't have a book that slips out and then ends up getting bent or something if you. If you uh, put some of this blue painters tape on all four sides, all right. <laughs> There's lots of good videos out there for packing too. Um, so let's get started here. So these two, we've got. Oh, check it out. They kind of, they kind of got a little bit taped together on the back there too. <laughs> Keep them together. Is there two books in here? Oh man, check this out. <laughs> they just sent me sent me books. Oh wow. Okay. 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 That's cool. There's a hidden book in there. I love that cover. Something about that cover is really cool. <laughs> Alright. Um so I did not know I'd picked this up. Still got some Jen sticky notes on it. it says Jacob, um, but yeah, super cool. It's a uh, Generation X from the '90s, Generation X number one, with this uh, hollow cover. Let me see here. I know what's going on. Both of those were put in just like in a different bag. Yeah. Okay, so you guys can see the cover. Cause this one's, these are cool. If you've never seen these before, it's got a full wrap around too on the back. It's, they're super awesome. It's a generation X number one from the nineties. Just a book I remember owning when I was a kid. And check this out, uh, X-Men, the X-Men 88. Like I said, I know there's 2099 goodness in here. 
I, I don't remember all what I claimed. Some some of these, I think they were just a dollar or something, and no one, I tried to give the, uh, always try to give the people watching a, a chance, but if they sit there for a while, I might be like, hey, Jen, no one grabbed it. Uh, like this one says two dollars. It says Spider-Man 2099 number 44. One of the ones from the later part of the run. I think 46 is the final issue. So this is a, a great run filler right there. It didn't have that one. There's 44. And then there was some more run fillers here of uh, of different runs. <laughs> so that I'm that I'm building. Um, so we got X-Men 2099 number 27. And uh if I remember correctly, I only need four more to complete the X-Men 2099 run with everything that should be in here. Um, <laughs> let's see. We got a Doom 2099 number 13. I couldn't tell you. I'm not, I'm not trying to complete the Doom run, so I don't know how. They might have just thrown that one in for free knowing I like 2099. Or, or I grabbed it because it was a dollar. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, this one's the uh, X-Men 2099 number 28. Check that cover out too. That's awesome. It's got all the characters and stuff. I really like this cover. This cover is great. That's that's just a great cover. And it's uh it's after the introduction of the of one of the newer characters that joined the team later. And then here's 33 X-Men 2099 33. Like I said that I I only needed uh four more issues cuz she had a bunch of she had a bunch of these X-Men 2099s. Um here was this issue 34. These are super nice condition too. I'm really happy with this. Oh yeah. And check this out. Oh, this is awesome. I forgot to, it's like a pop out. Oh, that's so cool. That is super cool. And it's a wrap around too. I'm just enjoying it, I'm sorry. It's an X-Men 2099 number 25, the special hardcover with like it's like popped out you can feel the, and uh and it's got the number 25 there in silver that is super cool number 25 double-sized issue that's really awesome and lastly we have I'm just gonna get the tape off here it's number 24, right? Yeah, number 24. With La Lunatica on the cover there. And Skullfire behind her. And a bunch of bad guys that they're gonna fight. Alright guys, that's that's what I have today. We got we got some X-Men 2099 goodness and a couple of other 2099 books. A cool Generation X number one foil from the 90s. She just had a bunch. These are these are basically books that were in my um, in my original collection, you know. And uh, so I'm happy to I'm happy to find find them again and in good condition, about the condition I had them because I you know I was a kid and so I, I read them all. Um, and that's kind of the plan is to read them. So I'm just looking for very fine, very fine plus. Uh, probably even take a fine book to to complete the some of these 2099 runs. The Spider-Man one's a, a bit harder too. I still have, I think like 15 or 20 more issues to complete the Spider-Man run but only four more to complete the X-Men 2099 run. So I'm super stoked about that. And and to find this one, these these later issues for Spider-Man 2099 are hard to find. So super happy to find that. Spider-Man 2099 40, 
44 there. And yeah, I probably just claimed it because it's cool. I mean, you can't deny that's a really cool cover, X-Men 88. Seeing if I can see who, who did it, if I recognize their signature. I do not. It looks like Adam Cooper. I hate just guessing, but you know. Um, and then this super, this super cool uh, Generation X foil. It's a wraparound too. We got all the characters here. We got a uh, Chamber and uh, what's his name? Uh, Skin. I think his name's Skin and uh, Jubilee. We can see up here. There's Sync right there when Sync was part of Generation X and now he's he's moved on and kind of grown up and, and he's part of the uh, Part of the X-Men now looks like uh, Banshee's back there More people on the other side of the wraparound All right guys if you if you enjoy this kind of content and you watch this far into the video Remember like comment and subscribe helps the YouTube algorithm show me to more new people so more people can join us in this fun times talking and sharing our comic books. All right, guys, that's what I have today. Remember, um, like, remember to also give you a chance to win this uh, the 600 subscriber giveaway, the Marvel number one variant. Everybody have a great day. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time.